What is up, guys? Welcome to the Verse Crypto Channel, the most savage sharing crypto channel out there. My name is Chaos Chris, and I'll be your host today. Bro, before we hop in this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications so we keep you guys up to date with the latest, greatest news and information in this space. That being said, let's hop right into this video. As always, we got another awesome video for you to join us today. Today, we're going to be talking about a really cool project. The name of that project is Jennyco, and it will be launching on the Constellation blockchain or hypergraph technology. Um, for those guys who don't know what Jennyco is, Jennyco is a really cool decentralized application that looks at taking uh, healthcare data and information on yourself and actually digitizing it and using it for science and research. And the really cool component about this project is it keeps every user's uh, identity completely anonymous. So if you got some sort of specialized disease or you got something going on, well, you can use that information to assist researchers, but also keep your identity anonymous so that healthcare uh, companies can't come, I mean, health insurance companies can't come in and raise your rates without you knowing. So it's actually a win-win situation. You uh, keep your identity safe and you also get monetization for data on on uh, your, your overall health. So it's a win-win situation, in my opinion. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Genico and give you guys a great breakdown of what this project is and the potential behind this project. Please keep in mind, I am not a financial advisor. This video is for entertainment and education purposes only. So enough of that. Let's check out Genico. Starting off, let's go over to Genico.com. Right when uh, you type that in the URL, you're going to see this beautiful website that's going to pop up. Um, overall, I give the website format about a 6 out of 10. I'm probably researched about 500 projects now, so I've seen a lot of these websites in. I mean, I can tell you what's a good looking project, what's not a good one. So this kind of falls in the middle of the pack. So um, starting off, uh, healthcare data could help more people make better choices. And um, you can find out about the first healthcare data exchange powered by Web3. Now, for anyone who's been viewing my videos for the past year, I've always talked about how you're going to start to see companies launch uh well, companies will launch their product on a blockchain, and this is going to be one of the first companies to do it. And when it comes to healthcare, like in Europe or, or even the United States or just all across the world, the centralization behind healthcare is absolutely gross. We're seeing, you know, um, you know, middle, middle, middle to lower class uh, income families or just anyone who falls in that category. Um, get the worst end of healthcare, and then we start hearing about you know how rich people get the better end of healthcare. And um, you know, a great example of this is if you're over in Europe and you have cancer, well, they may, they essentially give you chemotherapy for your cancer, and um, the idea is they give you whatever chemo whatever chemotherapy is available. And there's different types of it for different types of tumors, but they don't have the money to figure out which. Uh, which type of chemotherapy you need to um, basically treat your own tumor. So they give you one and, and with the survival rate, it's just a race to the bottom. Now, if you're super ultra wealthy, well, you can actually go to a hospital in Switzerland and what they'll do is they'll cut out a piece of the tumor and then they'll test different types of chemotherapy against that tumor to see which one's more effective. And at the end of that study, they give you that special type of chemotherapy so that um, the the tumor the tumor is essentially uh, destroyed, and you don't have to worry about hair loss. And it's a very expedient process. So for this for this specific case in point, what I'm trying to get across is you know the more money, the more stats you have, the more access to healthcare and resources you have. If you're on the lower end spectrum, well, you basically get you know the worst end of healthcare. Now, how does this relate to Genico? Now, Genico isn't necessarily doing like health insurance and health procedures, but this is going to be the first step into blockchain-based healthcare uh, companies. And what they want to do is they want to take healthcare data, put it on the blockchain, and then sell it for research. And you know they'll take a little bit of cut of that, and then they'll give you a, 
a, a large portion of the royalties behind your healthcare data so that you can um, basically monetize it and earn some money while basically not doing anything. It's that simple. So um, coming down here, your healthcare data is valuable. Recent studies show that an individual's uh, health record, including insights generated with genomic, uh, phenotypic, and IoT, well, which is Internet of Things, is worth anywhere from fifteen hundred to five thousand dollars. So imagine just you know uploading your healthcare data onto a blockchain, or in this case, hypergraph uh, technology. And um, you basically sell and you get five thousand dollars a year. The average merit, the the average majority of Amer of uh, American cannot cover a five hundred dollar charge. So this could be a phenomenal way for you to, to earn a not not a big bag, but to earn some money, put in your bank account, and now you can uh, basically increase your spending power and you know have more money at home. So it's really cool. So. Um, some cool facts on a daily basis. One third of the world's generated data is healthcare related. So most of the research actually we, we um, across the world is healthcare research. It's not only like climate change studies and technology. A lot of it goes into uh, healthcare because people are actually more interested in trying to live forever rather than, you know, build big machines, even though we kind of do a little bit of both, but I'm going on tangent. So insurance companies have estimated that all healthcare outcomes are 40% generated by genetics and 60% by lifestyle. So nutrition, smoking, exercise, et cetera. Um, I'm a big health freak, so I won't get into this too much, but essentially when you're born, there's a very few amount of people that have some genetic abnorm abnormality or have some weird health condition. But a majority of the issues that the average day person has is due to their health style. If you smoke cigarettes, there's a good chance that you're going to, you know, get really sick. Cigarettes, you know, they cause cancer. They weaken your immune system. They are very detrimental to your body. So, of course, you're going to get sick more and you're going to have more issues. If you live a healthy lifestyle, work out 30 minutes a day, eat vegetables, fruits, maybe eat like a burger every now and then, you're going to have a good life. So that, that was my little rant. But we're, we're here to talk about cryptocurrency. I should probably start a healthcare channel. So um, uh, who currently benefits from your healthcare data? So this is a big question. So um, essentially right now we do not. Large institutions do, health insurance companies do, clinics, hospitals. They just take all your data and they sell it. There's no, there's, there's no such thing as anonymous. Uh, there's no such thing as privacy when it comes to any source of data. Anything that exists in a database, I guarantee you it's shared with somebody. And um, what a lot of these uh, hospitals and um, health, health, healthcare-based companies like to do is they like to... Um, sell it to like consumer product companies and pharmaceuticals because if pharmaceuticals know what type of medicine they need to be given to people based off of which um, disease is most likely to be common in like males or females or certain uh, populations, then they're going to produce that drug. And then they're also going to upcharge it a little bit and then sell it to you to make a big buck. And this is why pharmaceuticals are extremely greedy. So, what is Genico trying to solve? So the problem is terrible health care. Well, terrible everything health. Like the whole the whole health industry is just falling apart. So what Genico is focused on correcting is the imbalances in healthcare data marketplace by supporting individual ownership of healthcare information with, with direct compensation. Genico um, empowers individuals to decide who can and cannot access their data, which paid studies they would like to participate. Genico is at the intersection of healthcare Internet of Things data, artificial intelligence, and blockchain. So, um, you know, th this project is, uh, it it's pretty simple. You know, you have a folder of all the stuff that's wrong with you. You, you know, your, your uh, what's it called? Um, your blood pressure, your weight, um, basically your overall, uh, health status i'll put it that way or like how healthy you are and um basically what Genico wants to do is take all that information that file folder that are that's at the doctor's office and they want to put on the blockchain and so if a research company needs to come in and say hey we need a research like parkinson's well 
what they can do is they can come over to Jenny Co and say, okay, we have a hundred people with Parkinson's disease. If you want to access your folders, you got to give us $500 per person. And then they'll take that $500, probably take a fee for selling it to them and then send a good portion of the money to you so you can benefit off of it. So in my opinion, it's a win-win situation. I mean, either way, they're still doing it. I'm sure health insurance companies, you know, probably have a weird like algorithm to find certain people when, um, uh, when they find out that you have a special disease that you might get, you know, later on in life. So I'm not gonna get into it. So, um, kind of get into it. Uh, they have personalized products. Users can upload their data in exchange for personalized health, wellness products, uh, and recommendations, skincare to cannabis synergies. Um, yeah, that's one thing that kind of threw a uh, curveball on me. Cannabis synergies. I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, so they're very extremely people focused. They want to make sure they benefit the customer. Keep in mind, this is a this this is kind of a corporation. It says dot com. So anytime you see dot com. There's a good chance that's a corporation and they are for profit. So um, even though they're for profit, basically, if you're able to get into something like this and, you know, give out in like uh, be a part of this project, then it'll be beneficial for them to um, make decisions in the best of your interest so that they can get a higher return for you and in turn a higher return return for them. Now, keep in mind, there's a good chance that, you know, they might be finessing and they might be like, OK, well, this is how they might be telling you fake numbers and be like, you know, hey, so we got like five thousand dollars from this company and then we'll tell you we only got twenty five hundred. So there is that chance of that. And it, there's there's a little bit of centralization, but I think this is the right step. But going on. So crypto rewards. Users will receive cryptocurrency payments for participating studies and sharing their data and health outcomes from trying a particular drug or product. So if you want to be a uh someone who wants to like experiment drugs or products and just use your body you can monetize it and do so keep in mind these are experimental drugs so you have to sign a uh a waiver saying that you're not going to sue them and then healthcare insights users can obtain valuable insights into ways to improve their health including genetically personalized diet plans best prescribed pharmaceuticals and much more so on top of everything else you can actually submit a genetic report and get get the best information on what to do based off of um, your genetics and your current health so it's got a little bit of like a uh, ai based doctor so if you guys want um click over here and come over here to read the white paper and i'm not gonna lie uh after kind of just scrolling through this paper it takes a couple hours to get through it so um God, how many how many pages is this thing? Like 42 pages. So I'm not gonna really go through and try to um talk about every single component behind this project. But the one thing I want to start off with is just the introduction, the abstract, which is the um initial purpose of the project and what is the solution. So um starting off in 2021, 1.7 megabytes a day will have been created every second for every person on earth, 30% of which is healthcare data. Over a lifetime, each person generates the equivalent of more than 300 million books of personalized and health related data. That accounts for 12 tetrabytes. That's a lot. That's a lot of uh, data. So to answer, uh, to answer the problem with this much data on you and you're based on game monetized. So Genico will enable users, large companies and brands to seamlessly share and access rich user data insights. This will be facilitated through a novel blockchain microservice exchange built on Constellation, Network Web 3.0, Hypergraph and governed by decentralized autonomous organization. So um, there is a DAO behind this. I know I said this is a company, but keep in mind there's still going to be a certain degree of centralization at the be at the creation of this project, and there's a lot of things that can go wrong, especially since this is a new project in a new space. So, um, and then the rest of the uh, paper goes on to say this is basically going to be like a digital blockchain DAO that's going to run its own little healthcare system from. Uh, you know, providing recommendations to better further your health and also selling your data. And um, 
They also um, are going to be interacting with different uh, communities. They're also going to be getting into nutrition. Anything that you can think of in the healthcare system is what they're going to try to get into. So the best way to think about it is just a large health insurance company launching on blockchain. Now, scrolling down, um, it's going to go into market research, uh, talk a little bit about data. You know, keep in mind, this is a big data driven project. It's going to talk about, um, you know, problems and solutions and, and get into, uh, you know, a lot of stuff with the Davos Group and the World Economic Forum. And, um, and it talks a little bit about, you know, like NFTs and, you know, digital ownership on the blockchain. So a lot of really good stuff, but I want to get down to the token that they're planning on um, getting into. So let's uh, keep on going down. They do have here. Actually, I'm just going to search it. Token. Nom X. So utility. So um, kind of starting off, the JCO token will be required by all parties to transact within the Jaycox ecosystem. New individual users will earn the JCO by sharing their HTML data with Jaycox and then use JCO tokens to direct where they want their uh, HTM data to be mined. As users stake their JCO to a pool, is actually the choice to contribute their HTM data and expert knowledge in or outcomes under the conditions and parameters and rewards set out by the data pool creator. The minimum JCO staking requirement for issuing a data seller to participate in a pool is initially set as a multiple of number of variables required to enter the pool. So um, I'm not going to go in and confuse you guys. Basically, you have the JCO token and to access the products and users, you have to go and stake it into a pool. And then that's how you earn rewards on the token. So the uh, in order to use any services, you have to use the JCO token. And what gives the token utility is the services behind the, you know, the healthcare uh, industry that J Jenny Jenny Co is trying to get into. So, uh, so utility examples. This is probably the best way for me to get in uh, to break it down because there's a lot of information. I don't want this to be a one hour video. So, um, in, in addition, all transactions in the JCOS would be be made using the native JCO tokens. So. Users pay JCO for biomarker, biomarker genetic and other lab tests, uh, uh, app subscriptions. Um, they can direct where to what entity they can mine user data. So the idea is the JCO tokens allow you, you to um, volunteer your health uh, your your health data to an insurance company or hospital or someone who's doing research. Um, so large corporation organizations will partially pay in JCO tokens for participation. So they had to use the token for trials and products and users pay of JCO token to receive diet plans, telemedic diet, diet diagnostic consultant, consumer personalized product recommendations and other, other services such as future health insurance. So um, essentially, like I said, all the products behind the JCO token, I mean, but behind uh, the Gini Co ecosystem is going to be used behind the JCO token. Now, um, you can kind of see the price of the token and there's going to be a little bit more on DNA tests and laboratory tests and uh, how much each is going to be. I'm not going to really jump into this real quick. I want to just keep on going down, talk about the uh, supply. So uh, looking at this right here, um, let's find the supply. Where is the market cap? Cool. So the entire uh, market cap of the tokens is going to be approximately 250 million. Uh, 40 million is going to go to fundraising, 20 million to teams, 12.5 to advisors, 37.5 for marketing. Um, they're going to send over 5,000 uh, to Coinbase. And then uh, 30 and 87 million is going to go to staking data root pools. And then uh, 25 million is going to go to exchange liquidity. So what they're going to do is they're going to spread this token out. They have a lot of the tokens going to the team advisors and fundraising uh, activities. And that's going to account for, God, almost a third of the ecosystem. So, and then also we have the foundation. So in the beginning, this 
a lot of these tokens are not going to be the hand of investors. And typically what um, these projects like do is hold a majority of them and then slowly release them over time. So right now the market cap is at about 250 million, but probably the amount of tokens in actual circulation is going to be closer to, I would say 80 to a hundred million. And then over time more is going to get released. So you're going to see a little bit of a price depreciation, but 250 million is still a very small amount. And uh, down here on the vesting schedule, um, you'll see how the uh, tokens are going are going to be released. As I've said before, um, they have a small token release over time, as I pointed out earlier. So um, coming back, um, double check. JCO. So. Nomix has, mm, no, that's not the JCO. So just coming back, um, overall, um, Junico, it's a very interesting project. Um, in my opinion, um, it's a project that is trying to solve a problem, is, that is trying to provide a solution into a space that's a huge problem. You're going to see more companies get into like healthcare and like other uh, industries. And Junico is one of the few projects that I have seen to be the first ones to get into um, blockchain technology. And in my opinion, if this project can uh, fulfill all the stuff that um, they're talking about when it comes to monetizing your health data and um, forcing like insurance companies and research institutions to buy it from, uh, basically uh, buy it through this project, through the DAO, then it has the potential to absolutely blow up and do numbers. But keep in mind, this is one of the first projects. So there are going to be problems down the road. So definitely please tread carefully and make sure you research this project because you know you, you never know what's going to happen in cryptocurrency. But in my opinion, tokens like this are going to be especially important in the next bull market. Or if it's not in the next bull market, it's going to be the falling bull market. So guys, that's it for the video. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Ginico and uh, and do you think this is going to be a sustainable project um, going on to the future? And before I wrap this video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on bell notifications so we keep you guys updated with the latest, greatest news and information in the space. My name is Chaos Chris. I love every single one of you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.